Hi everyone, Taylor here from Needle Clankers, and I bet you can guess what we're going to do today. Yep, another yarn review. My Walmart finally got the Kaboo yarn in, and I had to get some. They had three colors at my Walmart, but I only grabbed two because I thought that these were the prettiest colors that they had. The other color was a tannish brown color. I can't even remember the name of it, but these to me are kind of antique -y colors. This one's a soft pink and then a crisp white. That one says white and that one is pale pink. Let's go ahead and start looking into it. Let's grab the pink here. This one says one ball will make a hat, which I think is pretty cool. I wonder if there's a pattern on the inside. We'll have to check that out. It is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, 232 yards or 212 meters. It is 50% cotton, 50% rayon, which is from bamboo. And I guess that's why it's so soft. It's really, really soft. It is considered a number three weight. If you look at it, it is. It takes a four millimeter knitting needle or a size six, I believe that's what that is, or a size G four millimeter crochet hook. It says that it is machine washable and dryable, but I always recommend hand washing and laying your garments flat to, to dry if you make crochet or knitted things. Um, it looks like it does have a dye lot on it, but isn't it so pretty? so soft when i found it at walmart i picked it up and oh i felt fancy having it i don't know why it's just so soft all right i went and looked it up online to see what the prices and stuff were it shows that there are 16 different colors on the line brand website my walmart only had three colors but anyways there are 16 available and i want to think that i paid less than five dollars for my kaboo but if you go to the lion brand website they are 5.99 each which is not that big of a deal it's made from bamboo so it's super soft it's worth the money i think let's go ahead and crochet up a swatch to see what it looks like all right i went ahead and pulled my center out of my cake and had a lot of yarn barf but we got that wound up and we're ready before i crochet a swatch i wanted to take some four weight yarn this is karen simply soft and compare the three to the four so you can see the thickness there is Quite a bit of a difference and Karen simply soft to me runs a little thin on the four weight so that way you know what you're getting yourself into let's go ahead and crochet a swatch I'm going to make a slip knot maybe if my fingers will work right there it goes and I got the recommended crochet hook split on me but it's not that big of a deal okay let's go back and work some single crochets now it is trying to split on me that's not that big of a deal for me some may not like it it's a good thing to know before you buy. I 
Oh, she goes again. Alrighty. I went ahead and crocheted a little swatch here. I did some single crochets, doubles. I did some cross stitch here to just see what it would look like. We've got half doubles and then some other, I call this the falling leaves stitch, but it looks really pretty. Let's see how it takes out. No snagging, no nothing. It is beyond soft. It's like a luxury yarn to me. It's extremely soft. The only thing that is, is not what I usually have is the fact that it splits. I usually don't, unless it's carrying simply soft, I usually don't have yarns that split. They don't bother me. It's just not what I'm used to. Other than that, there is nothing wrong with this yarn. And I can get past the yarn splitting because of, oops, there's a spot right there that caught. Uh -oh. But I can get past the splitting because of how soft and beautiful it works up. Well worth the money, I think. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the yarn review. If there is something specific that y'all want reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Or you can email us or whatever and we will figure it out. Y'all have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe before you leave.